Hey guys, Tyler here for the channel today. Going over uh, something really cool that I'm excited to show you guys on the channel and something that we're gonna be using a lot. Sorry it's so dark in here, but um, I am in an enclosed trailer that we just picked up for the side-by-side -side and uh, my Camaro may end up uh, possibly being in here at some point too. Um, so I'll just flip the camera around and give you guys an idea of what we're working with here. So we picked up a 20 foot by it's about six and a half feet wide on the inside and then seven feet tall um, and the reasoning why we went with this trailer specifically is we had it custom built um, the can am maverick that we have that we're going to be putting in here most of the time uh, the roof is just too tall for a standard uh, trailer so typically the opening at the back we're going to the back door um, typically the opening up here um, is about six foot tall and the Can-Am Maverick, the older one, it's a 2013, is just too tall to get through a normal um, rear opening, like a drop down ramp opening like this one. It's usually about six foot tall. So we went with a local company and we had them build one for us custom so it's a little bit taller. Um, so the really nice thing about this is it has the seven foot tall ceiling now, uh, may even be a little bit taller than that. So now we're able to get the side-by-side -side in here. We're able to stand up, um, you know, as tall as we want. We're not ducking the whole time. And then uh, it has a really good width to it too. It's about six and a half feet wide, like I said. Um, the interior is completely blank right now. Um, it's just all bare wood, which we're gonna end up doing something with. Um, so the, the plan for right now is basically that we're going to either paint or stain the floor. Um, and then as far as the walls go, we're probably going to paint the walls gray. The walls will probably be gray. The floor, we're not sure if we're gonna do a stain or a uh, paint on it. Uh, we wanna do something that's gonna be very durable because we're gonna be pulling the machine in and out. Probably gonna be camping a little bit in here. Um, it's a really good setup for everything. And then as far as this wall here where we have the uh, V that goes over the front part of the um, the trailer frame. We're probably going to build some shelves here. It'll probably be about a three tier shelf. So we'll have one down bottom, you know, probably about knee height, one about chest height, and then one up towards the top where we'll put stuff that we're, uh, that we wouldn't use as much. Um, and then after everything is painted and all set up and we have the shelves in, I'm going to buy a car battery or a marine battery. I'm not sure. I'm going to do some research on that. The marine or car battery will sit at the bottom, and then we'll have a power inverter to switch it over so we can use um, household items in here, um, like a, uh, a blow-up mattress. They have the pumps for them. We want to be able to camp out and use this basically as like a mobile home sometimes um, when we're going out on long trips and uh, camping at different sites. So... Like I said, we'll have three shelves. We'll have the uh, battery at the bottom with an inverter so we can have power. Um, and then I'll also have a switch set up, probably somewhere around here, we'll cover everything and make it look nice. Um, or you'll be able to come in and just flip a switch. And then all around the edges, we'll have uh, strip LEDs. So you'll be able to come in and the whole thing will be all lit up. Um, because during the summer, We'll probably, like I said, we'll be doing a lot of camping in this thing, so we'll be taking it out late and loading the machine up late at night. So we want to have enough light in here that we can work comfortably and, you know, we're not fumbling around in the dark. We want this to be a nice setup that every time we go out, we're not worried or we're not missing anything because it's too dark to see. Um, so as far as, as far as the inside, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I'm going to be, um, this is just the first video to kind of show you guys what the plan is and over the next couple of weeks i'm going to be setting the trailer up and um you know building everything the way we want it and i'm going to do a build series on it so if you guys uh think this is kind of cool and you want to follow follow along i'm going to be doing a couple different videos showing you us building the shelves and doing the wiring and doing all that kind of stuff um but for now i'll show you the outside so we'll come back out um, we went with a black trailer so it would match the uh, my pickup truck, the 2019 Silverado. So I'll flip the camera around here and give you guys a look. So like I said, this is a 20 footer, so it's pretty long. Um, it has the drop down ramp in the back where you're gonna pull in a machine. 
uh, LEDs all around the outside. Everything is LED on this thing except for the inside light. Uh, so it's really nice. They're nice and bright. Uh, don't draw a lot of power from the truck so you can leave the running lights on while you're uh, taking the machine out. If you're on the side of the road or something, you don't have to worry about someone running into you uh, with the trailer being black. You can just leave the running lights on and people will still see you. Um, <clears throat> this is a dual axle trailer because of the weight. It's uh, pretty heavy, so we went with a dual axle. And then also has uh, electronic brakes, which is really nice because with the trailer being so heavy and then the possibility of having two machines in there at the same time because uh, it's long enough that you can fit two, you want to be able to have uh, brakes on the trailer. And I can actually control how much braking the trailer does from the inside of my truck using a brake controller that's built in, uh, built into the truck from the factory, which is pretty nice. Um, coming up to the front, really not too much to see. This is just the, the hitch setup for the trailer where you would hook up to the truck. Um, we have the power set up for all the lights and everything and the brakes. Um, the box that controls the brakes, all the chains and everything to hook everything up. And then uh, around this side where I came out initially, you have your person size door where you're going to come in and out. Um, this has two locks on it, which is pretty nice. And then uh, that's pretty much it for the outside. The only thing that I forgot to mention, which I'll show you guys now, um, which I really like is the interior has a uh, crank vent too, which is nice because, you know, if we're leaving the side by side in here for a little uh, small bits at a time, it'll probably smell like gasoline. So um, at night we'll be able to get fresh, fresh oxygen through here um, as long as, as, as well as leaving the doors open during the day. But the biggest thing is at night we want to be able to get fresh oxygen in here um, so we have this vent. And it's nice because it's really easy to operate and then it locks down and keeps any type of water out and it has a screen which is really nice. So even if you leave this open at night while you're camping in here you don't have to worry about bugs. So like I said that's uh, that's pretty much it as far as the trailer goes. Um, like I said I'm going to be doing a whole build, a whole build series on the trailer and um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to probably be a couple episodes long and just show you guys how I'm going to set up all the wiring for the LEDs, um, do a time lapse of me painting the inside and the floors and um, building the shelves and uh, my dad will probably be in a little bit of it too so you'll get to see him now too. So like I said, if you guys think this is pretty cool and you want to follow along with the series, um, it's probably going to be posted over the next couple days. We're trying to get all this done before we go to West Virginia for our trip where we're going to take the side-by-side off-road. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Thanks for checking it out. Definitely uh, hit that thumbs up button. Give it a like. Um, really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me. Uh, we've been able to do more cool stuff and uh, hopefully bring you more cool content. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you like a lot of the stuff, make sure to subscribe. Thanks. Have a great day.